This hacker knows what he's doing. To him, the internet is like crystal clear water, a digital ocean with lots of users swimming in it. No matter where they are, he can spot them. He can trace the slightest signals and pick them up on his laptop. But don't worry, Gertz Schartner is one of the good guys. Trojans probably pose the biggest threat. They steal personal data, like details for online banking or credit cards or access to other areas. Another serious problem at home are criminals who hack into your Wi-Fi and then use it for criminal activity. This can make you the focus of police investigations, and sometimes you may even be held liable for damages. Mr. Hopping, is this your mobile phone number? Unfortunately, yes. Then we can look at the last 20 to 30 calls you've made. He can hack mobile phones live. The technical aspect is quite easy. You simply bypass defense barriers. In this case, they're flawed. That's all that hackers do. The room is filled with tax accountants. Their local bank in the northern German town of Oldenburg hired Goetz Schartner to give a presentation. We can't show their faces. They don't want their clients to see them catching up on Internet security. This BlackBerry has been turned into a Trojan. It means I've installed a Trojan. Take these two people. Their phones are switched off. Gertz Schottner demonstrates how you can still listen in on their conversation. He says he's activating what's called area monitoring, although he has to put the sound up because it's not very loud. But then the conversation can be heard quite clearly to the amusement of the audience. It's as easy as this to bypass barriers against hacking, the expert says, but only 10% of all available security measures actually end up getting used. Schopner wants to erect fences of steel within the web. He is certain his laptop is safe. First of all, it's protected against regular theft. The hard drive is fully encrypted. Without my fingerprint, smart card and password, you can't access it. And I don't surf directly, but virtually, so malware can't be installed on my computer. And I monitor all relevant files for possible changes that someone might want to make. You surf in a virtual way? Yeah. What does that mean? It means I've installed virtualization software and actually use a second computer to surf, which I've installed on this one. And now I'll try to influence this computer. Sometimes it doesn't work. Let's put it to the test. He calls himself a penetration tester. Please smile into the camera, the one in the notebook. Schartner uses a virus disguised as an email attachment to switch the camera on. This tax accountant has now been exposed. Nasty, isn't it? He took a look today and immediately found everything. There was a Bluetooth connection and he'd probably be able to read out all of it while we speak. It really makes you think. You're left with an uneasy feeling. An element of risk remains. Gertz Schartner is 42 years old. He's self-taught and launched his first business at age 17. Every year, this son of a police officer gives several hundred talks about digital security. Schartner's clients include major German companies and even Arab royalty.